Hi, I'm Chris Nuttall, Chief Operating Officer at NCAB Group. Every day, we receive questions about how circuit boards are produced. Today, we're going to talk about what material characteristics to look for when selecting material. Selecting the right material is critical if you want your circuit board to survive the assembly process or come out of the assembly process in good condition. Now we're going to talk about four of the main characteristics from the IPC 4101 material specification that are critical in helping define the performance of your base material. The four most common characteristics often referenced in material selection outside of electrical properties and also contained within the IPC 4101 specification are CTE, which is the coefficient of thermal expansion. We then have TG, which is the glass transition temperature of the material. TD, which is the decomposition temperature of the material. And finally, T260 and T288, which is the time to delamination at those temperatures. The CTE, coefficient of thermal expansion. This is a measure of how much the material expands when heated. This is critical in the z-axis. As stated before, typically, Above TG, we see that the expansion is greater. If the CTE is insufficient or too high in the material, then failures can occur during assembly as the material expands rapidly above TG. The TG, or glass transition temperature, is a value of the temperature at which the material changes from a reasonably stiff glass-like material to a more elastic and bendable plastic-like material. Important, as above TG, the material's properties will change, such as the expansion of the material. We will see that above TG's, materials tend to expand more. It's important to note that materials can have the same TG, yet different CTEs. Of course, lower CT is better. Equally, some materials can have higher TG values, yet also have a higher or worse coefficient of thermal expansion post TG. The TD or decomposition temperature is a measure of the degradation of the material. The analysis method measures when 5% of the material is lost by weight, the point at which reliability is compromised and delamination may occur. Higher reliability PCBs or PCBs that operate in demanding conditions will require a TD greater than or equal to 340 degrees Celsius. Time to delamination, either T260 or T288. This is the method to determine the time when the thickness of the PCB is irreversibly changed at a predefined temperature, for example, 260 or 288 degrees Celsius. This is when the material expands to such a degree then it may delaminate. Now, if I've lost you a little bit in any of the detail, please don't worry. You can always go back and re-watch it. Whilst ownership of material selection lies with the customer, the one who truly knows the processes and the demands of the project, NCAB can recommend considering materials that meet the demands of the following IPC 4101 specification sheets, and these are based upon some product and process parameters. As you can see, in order to select the most suitable material for your projects, it's important to know how you want the material to perform. The most suitable way to do this is to use your characteristics as defined within the IPC 4101 specification. And specifically, if you can define the specification sheet or its slash sheet, this will help immensely. If you would like to know more about this subject, please don't hesitate to contact us at NCAB Group.